Hi there, welcome to Keeping It Simple. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back to Keeping It Simple. This is a ministry from Calvary Chapel, Biker Church in Watsonville, California. My name is Marty Rodriguez. I will be your host through most of these videos. Again, we are continuing our series on getting to know the aspects of God's character. And um, today, we're going to learn about one of his aspects, that he is uh, sovereign, that we serve a sovereign God. Now, in a simple way of explaining that is that he's in total control of everything. Nothing happens without him knowing of it or nothing happens without him directing it. So that's what we're going to learn about today. Um, usually we pick a, like one verse to uh, tie to the topic that we're studying. And today we're going to look at Daniel chapter 2 verse 21. And I'm going to put that up on the screen for you. That way you can read it. And if you need to pause the video and study it for yourself. As we see in that verse, he changes the times and seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. So in other words, he's the one directing everything. Now again, to explain what keeping it simple is, keeping it simple is a ministry where we usually answer questions about Christianity or the Bible using the Bible. But uh, recently we've been doing a series on uh, getting to know God's character and today we are studying uh, that God is sovereign and like I said earlier a simple way to explain that is that He's in control. Then nothing happens without him directing it, being involved in it, and knowing about it. Then, in other words, we can't surprise God. He knows. He actually directs everything. So if we learn, that's one thing that I think we, we as Christians forget that, that, you know, it's not that, like somebody told me a couple of weeks ago, they believe in luck. No. And they believe in, in karma. No. If we believe in luck and karma and we call ourselves Christians, we are saying that our lives, everything is up to chance or up to karma. If you do good, something good will happen. If you accidentally do something wrong, something wrong will happen to you. Or if you do something wrong on purpose, something wrong, will, something bad will happen to you. But when we study the Bible and we study God's character, we find out that He's a sovereign God. We serve a sovereign God. That means He's in charge. He's in control. Um, one of the things is God is sovereign ruler of his universe. So the whole universe, everything in the cosmos, everything that he created, he's still in control. Some people believe that God created everything and walked away and, you know, kind of like a top. You wind up a top, you throw it, and it spins, and that's it. You're no longer in control. But our God 
is in control. He still has his hands on the wheel, so to say. He's still directing things. He's still controlling things. So we can't, like I say, we can't, as a Christian, we cannot believe in good luck. We can't believe in karma. Because that's saying that other forces are controlling our lives. What well, is in God? The main force that controls our lives? I mean, we don't need to knock on wood. We don't need a lucky rabbit, but we have a sovereign God. He is sovereign. God's sovereignty works through His laws of nature. He's everything. Not only is He in control of the universe, He's in control of nature, of weather, of uh, in the hurricanes of hot wind, he's, contro he's controlling everything. So nothing happens without his permission or without him knowing about it. You know, remember um, in the book of Job when Satan came and, and God told Satan, you can do everything to Job but don't kill him? Now, think about that. God at told Satan what he can and cannot do. He gave him permission to get God's in control. God's sovereignty fulfills his eternal master plan. Another example is, is um, Joseph. I mean, he went to home and stuff, but it all led to a perfect to a grand design, a grand plan that God had. Even though Joseph didn't see it in the beginning, at the end he go, ah, now I see that you are in control. He's always in control. Another part of God's sovereignty is, is that God's sovereignty directs people, circumstances, and events, that is something that blows my mind because he, I've seen it in my life. I'll give you a simple short story. Years ago, my real good friend, Buddy, uh, and his new wife did, wanted to move to Watsonville. Uh, we all live in Sydney. And they wanted to move to Watsonville. And um, so they got a nice big house to live here in Watsonville. Not only a big house, they had a granny home, a little home in the, in the side. And they asked me if I wanted to move up here with them. So I agreed. And, and uh, long story short, I moved here before they did. So I moved in here, and they don't put them up in in a month. But circumstances prevail where they didn't move in. So here I am in Watsonville, you know, not really knowing anybody. Um, you know, just living here, and I, I was like, why am I here, God? Well. On the way to church, because I was still going to church in Salinas, I kept passing Calvary Chapel, Watsonville. And I was going to Calvary Chapel, Salinas. And I was always short, I prayed about it. I said, why am I driving to Salinas, which is like 45 minutes away, when there's a church right down the block for me. That is Calvary Chapel. So I prayed about it, talked to my pastor, and talked to the pastor here, and, you know, said that since I live here, you know, I would like to, you know, become part of the congregation here in Wattsville. So long story short, I joined the church. When 
I saw God moving into the church. I saw doors open. Um, the door open for the biker church um, ministry. The door open to go minister at, at care homes, at um, nursing homes, at other places that that you know that were doors of opportunity. But now that I look back at it, I see how God had moved into, moved through all, all the circumstances to set everything up for all these ministries that I could be involved with. And and that ties into to this other point. God sovereignly uses bad things for good purposes. And we're like how can we say that? Well, we can't because if we see behind the tragedy, I mean, there are bad things going on, but if you see behind the tragedy, you will see God's hand moving and good things coming out of it. You're going to see people stepping up and displaying the love of Christ ultimately everything God uses everything for his plan for his purpose for good for to, for those that love him everything turns out good our God is sovereign he's in control he knows what he's doing he doesn't have to ask permission from anybody he doesn't have to second guess himself he doesn't have to um, just do things to go, oh, I hope it works out good. No. That's the God we serve. And if we really get to know Him, we're going to be able to trust Him. Once again, my name is Marty Rodriguez. I hope this made it helpful for you guys uh, to, you know, study God's character and find out more about Him. My prayer for you is that you will find yourself a good church, a good Bible teaching church. And not only go to it, but become a member. And not only become a member, but start serving in that church. Serve and not only serve, but ha start having an intimate one-to-one, -one, or maybe with your whole family, a relationship with God. Get to know Him as the way He wants to get to know you, intimately. He wants to know you 100%, and we should get to know Him 100%. That's my prayer for you. I thank you for watching this video. May you have a blessed week.